It's been an interesting year so far at RIN TV. We've had some excellent coverage of industry events around the world, interviews with industry executives and thought leaders, and commentary from analysts and other notable guests. Throughout this month, we will rewind some highlights from this year's more popular reports, some informative, some insightful, all important. In our first RIN TV Rewind, the topic was climate change when we interviewed University of Sussex Professor Richard Toll during the 2014 European Insurance Forum in Dublin. He explained why he thinks UN climate change efforts are destined to fail. One of the startling facts about climate change is there is very few facts about climate change. I mean, climate change is mainly something of the future, uh, so we're really talking about model projections. Uh, one of the things that a lot of people don't realize about climate change, particularly its impacts of, uh, the impacts of climate change, is that they're really symptoms of underdevelopment and mismanagement. Uh, we could think, uh, for example, about uh, Katrina, which devastated New Orleans. Uh, there's no doubt about that. Uh, but how much of that was due to bad weather and how much of that was due to bad management uh, of the coastal defenses? Uh, similarly, if we think about uh, the impacts of sea level rise, say. Dikes have been invented about 3,000 years ago. Uh, a lot of the bad impacts uh, that would come from sea level rise really have to do with people's inability or unwillingness uh, to protect their coast properly. The insurance industry should be very concerned about climate change. Um, <coughs> and definitely everybody who has some sort of exposure to the weather uh, should be uh, concerned about climate change. Uh, that said, insurance contracts are renewed every year or so. Climate change is a very slow process. So from an insurance perspective, what climate change really does, it increases the risk. It reduces the predictability of future weather hazards. Uh, and that means that you need more uh, risk capital, that you need better risk management. Alternative energy sources, carbon-free energy sources, uh, have been proven uh, in the lab uh, to be able to supply the world's energy needs uh, 10 times over. There's no physical problem, there's no technical problem there. The problem there is an economic one. Uh, these, these alternative carbon-free energies are simply too expensive. They only work at a small scale, they're not very convenient, those sort of things. So it, it is an economic problem, it's a political problem. There's no technical uh, or physical problem to supply the world's energies, energy use without emitting any uh, carbon whatsoever. Um, the insurance industry has been very active in the climate debates, uh, mainly lobbying for greenhouse gas emission reduction. Um, that is, uh, I think, a welcome contribution uh, because a lot of uh, other industries are much more conservative uh, and it's good to have a progressive voice uh, from, from, the business, uh, uh, from the business side as well. Um, <clears throat> But on the other hand, uh, the insurance industry can't do a whole lot because they don't control the levers, uh, really. So the, their, their power is one of persuasion and perhaps a bit of lobbying, uh, but they don't have direct control over the energy sector. Climate policy does not evolve through major milestones. There are, there are sort of major, massive set pieces uh, that are well reported in the media, but that's not how policy uh, evolves. But sort of the, the biggest uh, next event uh, on the political agenda are the, the, the Paris negotiations uh, for the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change. They are likely to fail, just as all the other ones uh, have failed so far. Uh, really, what, what is the big thing that is happening at the moment uh, is that China is gradually realizing that burning a lot of coal is very bad for the health of their people uh, and they're trying to find alternatives uh, to that. There's two ways that could pan out. They could follow the European and North American model. It's essentially putting scrubbers on coal-fired power plants and that will increase energy use and therefore increase CO2 emissions. Uh, or they could switch to alternatives uh, to coal and that would decrease uh, carbon dioxide emissions. And that is really the big uh, event that will shape climate policy for the next 10-20 years, the decisions that are made in Beijing at the moment. Throughout July we will rewind highlights of other popular reports from the last six months, so keep it here for even more world risk and insurance news on RIN TV.